Ever since the resignation of Congress leader Jyotiraditya Sindhya, the big question was will it also usher in the fall of the Kamal Nath government, the Congress government in Madhya Pradesh? Well, to give you the latest, after the resignation of 22 MLAs, the governor of Madhya Pradesh, Lalji Tandon, had asked the Kamal Nath government to have a floor test on the 16th of March. To get you up to speed on what has happened on the 16th of March till now, well, the Speaker of uh, the House in Madhya Pradesh uh, has uh, deferred the assembly to reconvene till 26th of March. The reason given by the speaker, who's of course a Congress leader because there's been a Congress government, is due to coronavirus. On the other hand, uh, you have the Bharatiya Janata Party headed by former Chief Minister of Madhya Pradesh, Shivraj Singh Chauhan, who has approached the Supreme Court, asking for an immediate floor test to be conducted, saying the Madhya Pradesh government has absolutely no moral standing to continue anymore. And they don't quite have the numbers. Therefore, uh, it is the BJP who has the mandate right now. Out of the 22 MLAs that have resigned, hold up in a resort in Bengaluru, six resignations have been accepted by the Speaker. So the Kamal Nath government says that these 16 MLAs that have been held in Bangalore have been held uh, without their own permission and uh, they need to be freed first is what the excuse Kamal Nath government is giving. On the other hand, the BJP says that it has the support of all these MLAs. Uh, things will now pan out on which way uh, the judiciary goes because pretty much now the Supreme Court will decide whether an urgent floor test will be conducted or not to actually see if the Kamal Nath government survives. As of now, the numbers seemingly are stacked with the Bharatiya Janata Party because six resignations have been accepted. So the strength of the Madhya Pradesh Assembly 228 take out six of the MLAs whose resignation has been accepted uh, by the Speaker. Well, then the strength of the House automatically comes down to 222. What is the halfway mark? 111. Majority, 112. Right now, where is the BJP stacked at? 107. The Congress, 99. Who has the advantage? The Bharatiya Janata Party. So ultimately, when you come down to the brass tacks of what's going to go down in the state of Madhya Pradesh, well, the 16 MLAs that are holed up right now in a resort in Bengaluru pretty much hold the ticket to this. Can Kamal Nath government actually convince uh, the 16 MLAs to come back to the fold, to take back their resignations because resignations have not been accepted? Or will those 16 MLAs stick with the Bharatiya Janata Party? So that is a big sticking point. But everything can right now be washed out by what the judiciary decides.